Alright guys, what's up? Wiggs here, bringing you a special video dealing with my views on the newest and upcoming games this year. Uh, we have some tough choices ahead of us, and hopefully I can help you make the right ones. So, first off, I want to talk about Black Ops 2. Um, in my opinion, it's always a crowd pleaser. Um, it brings in people from all over the world. I mean, you got people from United States, Canada. It brings in people from all different states and continents, Europe. All those type of people, the UK, England. Um, and it has one of the most populated servers. Like, if you guys took a look on Black Ops, uh, the original Black Ops, you can tell where everyone is by the highlights on the map. Um, it focuses on all age groups from 10 to 45 years old. I personally have a guy on my friends list. Uh, he's in his, I'd say, late 30s, early 40s. And, I mean, we used to be in a clan together and stuff, so it just show, goes to show that these type of people still play these video games. Um, when people think of Xbox, uh, they think of Call of Duty. I mean, I can take a poll and prove that to you guys if I really wanted to, but that's just my opinion on that. Uh, it has one of the largest franchises. I mean, you got everywhere from, I f forget the first ones, but it was like, personally for me, it was Call of Duty 2, Call of Duty 4, uh, World at War, all those. Modern Warfares, now we're up to Black Ops 2, so it has one of the largest franchises that I've ever heard of. Um, personally, I think that this game and all of the Call of Duty series is such a well-populated game because of the skill level. Um, it requires a minimal effort to do decent in a match online or with friends. I mean, you can just go into a ranked match in camp, or you can actually go and go around and drop shot people, whatever you do. Um, another feature that they're adding in the Black Ops 2 is the zombies that I think is going to bring in a crowd. Everyone's been watching The Walking Dead and things, um, and they're upgrading from their previous zombies. So I think that'll be great. Uh, secondly, I'd like to talk about Gears of War Judgment. Now, if any game, if anyone knows me well enough, you know that I love all of Epic's games, and Gears of War is by far one of my favorite games. But, now that's a big but, Epic, along with MLG, which is Major League Gaming, um, has lost my interest over the fa past few months, guys. Um, why, you ask? Well, Epic is money-hungry, in my, my opinion. Um, they throw out so much content during the beginning and peak periods of the game, like they did in Gears of War 3, and then people like myself purchase it. Uh, for example, the dedicated servers thing. They threw that out for no reason, and we paid for it. Uh, they used to have a special playlist for those users who bought it. Now when the game has gone to shit, they decided to take the playlists and certain game types out of the game and use that money for their new game, Gears of War Judgment. I think that's complete bullshit. And I was a competitor in that game, and a lot of us actually thought it was going somewhere. Um, if they would use that money, if they would have invested that money into MLG for competitors like myself... They would profit a lot more by drawing new people to competitive gaming and ultimately um, buying their next game. I mean, if you draw people to MLG, uh, that's going to bring the casual gamer into MLG. And even if they don't compete, they can still, they'll still like it enough to go out and purchase that game or go out and purchase the next game that they're bringing out, which is now Gears Judgment. So I think they messed up in the long run there. Um, I know for a fact that I'm not going to be buying Gears of War Judgment unless I hear really good reviews on it because the only thing that they're releasing to the public right now is about the control scheme and about the new weapons and stuff. And personally, that's just not good enough for me um, after what they did with the money and all the stuff that I invested in there and the time and effort. I mean, it's ridiculous. Um, but... On a positive side, overall, Gears of War is a great game, and it can be played casually for fun or competitively online. Um, with the new control scheme that I mentioned and the weapons that I mentioned earlier, uh, the game is going to rock, and everyone will be on an equal playing field because it has a totally new way to play Gears of War from all the past games. I just don't think Gears of War Judgment is going to do as well as Epic's previous Gears of War games, and hopefully... I hope it fails miserably in sales compared to games like Black Ops 2 and Halo 4. Um, which brings me to my third choice, which is Halo 4. Um, I personally believe Halo 4 is the most anticipated game among both casual and competitive gamers. 
Um, competitive wise, Halo 4 is already the MLG circuit, is already on the MLG circuit. And there's an event in Dallas, actually, on November 2nd, I believe. I think it's November 2nd through the 4th, um, which is actually two days before the game is set to release to the public. Um, so if you guys are looking forward to playing Halo, you can definitely check out that event and go there if you live in the Dallas area. Um, this is an opportunity to become a gaming pro because all of the quote-unquote pros will be rusty due to the fact that Halo hasn't been on the circuit uh, this year. Um, on another note for Halo, casually Halo is a huge crowd pleaser. I mean, due to its diverse game modes and futuristic layout, and it, it's just an awesome game. One of my first games actually I played on the original Xbox was Halo 1 with a bunch of friends um, in a basement pigging out on chips and soda. So it definitely, definitely is a crowd pleaser there. Um, but yeah, guys, that just about does it for my breakdowns. I hope you all enjoyed and I helped you out somewhat. Uh, please feel free to subscribe for more videos. Like, favorite my videos if you wish. And follow me on Twitter and Twitch TV. The links will be in the description below, guys. And I just want to personally thank all of you for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. Um, I'll also thank you if you subscribe to me. You'll get a special thank you. So right here it is. Thank you for everyone who subscribes to me and for whoever follows me on both of those other sites down in my description box. We both know what goes on now, guys, in today's world. People make videos, people live stream, and people tweet. That's what goes on. So you should follow me because I do all of those things. Yeah, that's right, I do them all. I do it all, guys, okay? I do it all. Anyway, um, just go do it. I mean, it's only a goddamn button. Like, if you watch my stuff or not, it's just the button. I really appreciate it if you'll watch it. But now, when you click the button, you'll always be able to watch it because you'll always it'll be always on your feed. But yeah, I'm going to go now. Bye.